Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I'm Crossing Channel and today I'll be teaching you guys how to hunt for rare beetles. You can earn a lot of money this way as these beetles are some of the best selling critters in the entire game. If you're excited for this be sure to leave a like and let's get straight to this. To start off we're going to want to dig up some coconut trees from our own island. We're going to need these as these are what the rare beetles spawn on. Don't worry you can plant these back on your own island when you're done. Once we've got about 6 to 8 of these trees, you'll want to head on a Nook Mile tour. Make sure it's night time as these bugs tend to appear later in the day, usually around 6pm. I usually do this at 8pm just to be safe, but you can check your Critopedia for exact times if you've already caught one. Now you're going to want to find a fairly flat island. This will save you a lot of time since you won't have to navigate around the rivers, and it will also be easier for the beetles to spawn since there'll be much less of the island to get rid of. Like when hunting for tarantulas, be sure to remove everything on the island. I've removed everything and put it in the middle of the island, which was originally a bamboo island. Now beetles should have a much higher chance of spawning on the palm trees. With the palm trees I took from home, I planted them on the beach here and to my surprise, beetles can actually spawn on them. So instead of only having 4 palm trees for them to appear on, I now have a whole bunch and I've been able to find a ton of beetles this way. The beetles make a really great source of income in the game and honestly it's really fun to hunt them as it reminds me of hunting on Tortima Island back in Animal Crossing New Leaf. The cool part about hunting on a flat island like this is you can also come across scorpions at times too, which also sell for a good amount, so it's a win-win situation for all. Sadly the scorpions do have a much lower spawn rate than they used to, so it's a bit hard to find them, but hey, it's just a nice extra bonus and the main focus here should be those beetles. When you're on a hunt, you're gonna see a lot of these green fruit beetles. Be sure to scare those away as they really aren't worth anything and they're just a waste of your time. And be sure to scare away any other bugs that you see in the middle of the island as well as you may see some that disturb the spawn rates of the rare beetles that you really want to go after. Just be extra careful when you're approaching these beetles as they are very flighty. You'll probably need to sneak up to them as they may fly away if you're not careful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope you'll have some luck hunting for rare beetles. It's a really great way to earn some extra bells and even catch some of the rarer bugs in the game if you need to donate them to your museum and they do look really cool in the museum so I definitely recommend that. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and you can also subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content.